A lot of reaction though to our viewer question so far uh, on social media. A lot of people getting very angry about this as well, and that's okay. This is your show. You get to have your say. I'm trying to get a sense of what you think should happen to this Crawford College teacher uh, who was presenting what is being called a racist lesson uh, to her pupils. So uh, that's what we're asking you as well. You want to call in, we'll put that number there. Otherwise, we've been getting a lot of reaction uh, on social media. It's always good to hear from you uh, on the socials as well. We're going to go to the socials in a moment. Voyo from Boxburg, though I believe you're with me on the phone. Hello, Vuyo. Good morning. Uh, what's your short comment? Good morning, sir. How are you doing? I'm good. Go ahead. Go ahead. Good, thanks. Um, I thought that, you know, the only solution that we might have is uh, we have to... People are, uh, who are discriminated, um, there's no questions asked, nothing. Um, I say to you, you know, we need to um touch such people you know because it's going to be a continuous thing both races black white indian any race racial acts all of that needs to be um needs, needs to come with uh with uh with a, with a criminal charge you know mm -hmm. i think that's the only way that people are going to deal with this uh. So criminal charge is what uh, you're telling me this morning. Vuyo, thank you. I appreciate the call. 011-537-943. Uh, and that's Vuyo from uh, Boxburg as well. So just to remind you, the school has come out. They actually did react very, very quickly, uh, saying that the substitute teacher uh, was dismissed immediately. They are also looking into having her deregistered as a teacher as well. So there are a couple of uh, actions that have been taken. Uh, Morena uh, from uh, Boxburg, I think it is. Uh, from Farina Hill. Morena, good morning to you. Sorry, I got the area wrong. Morena, go ahead. Morning. How are you? What's your comment? My comment is that uh, this hasn't been addressed properly. So people will always uh, uh, um, do things that they were, they were taught when they were still young. So we need to address this thing properly so that everybody understands what is actually racism. Instead mm. of uh, just arrest, 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 we understand that uh, it's a very bad thing and we, are, we hate it. But as long as it is boiling underneath, we cannot just uh, keep on uh, arresting people without teaching people as to how wrong is the racism. It's about the education, about the teaching of this as well. All right, Marina, thank you very much. Uh, Arin Farenachin, uh, for your call as well. So uh, there is the video as well, by the way. Obviously, we've blurred it out. Uh, because we're not going to be part of uh, spreading what was written on that board. But we do know the K word was used. And the pupils in this. Let's take a listen to the audio quickly. All right, so that's part of the audio. Uh, Nozi from Ennerdale. Morning. You've called in 011-537-943. And hello, Nozi. How are you? What's your, what's your short comment? Good morning, good morning, Gareth. It's Nozi from Ennerdale. Mm. I think she must be deregistered and put into jail. So deregistered immediately and go to prison uh, as well. Nozi in Ennerdale, thank you. I appreciate the call. Nice and short and uh, sweet as well. This is going to be a very, very big uh, talking point. I really appreciate you all calling in. Uh, a couple of comments through on social media as well. I think let's head off to Facebook first, team, uh, and then see what Ntako uh, has to say for us on Facebook this morning. Ntako Valoy, uh, she must be forgiven knowing where we come from is not bad, but continuing uh, practicing it is bad. So forgive her as far as I know. It doesn't hurt her students, uh, but the oldest in our country. I think Nsako could uh, be uh, uh, unpacking a, a can of worms here. Racism comments uh, is better than load shedding. I'm not sure about that one. Uh, not sure about that particular uh, comment at all. Cindy from Durban, you're back on the lines with us this morning. Lines are still open, by the way. Hello, Cindy, you're live. Uh, how are you? What, what's, your, what's your thoughts on this? Um, I'm good, uh, Gareth. My comment is, um, I'm not sure. You know what? My concern is she's 82. I'm wondering, does she have to teach? We have so many unemployed younger teachers. Why is she still even teaching? Mm. For me, that is my concern. Why is she even teaching? All right, uh, Cindy from Durban. Yeah, I think just to uh, illustrate uh, what we do understand about this teacher, obviously unnamed at this point, uh, 82 years old. 82 years old was the age of this teacher. As Cindy's saying there's young unemployed teachers. Surely there was someone better who could have done uh, this particular job as well. Marai from Bloemfontein, you're with me as well. Hello, Marai. I hope I got your name right. Uh, out in Bloemfontein, how are you? Good morning. What's your comment? Good morning. Very well in you. Good, good, good. Go ahead. What you got for me? 
quick and easy. She should have retired a long, long time ago. <laughs> retired. You think 82 years old is too old? Very much too old. I appreciate uh, you calling in, Marie from uh, Bloemfontein. I hope that was right. Marie, Marie, forgive me if I had that wrong. Retired is what uh, she's saying uh, for this teacher. That's 82 right. years old, uh, saying far too old to be in uh, this position as well. It's actually what Cindy was uh, referring to as well, that uh, there's younger teachers uh, as well that could have been taking uh, this uh, job as well. All right, next caller on the line. I've missed the name. Morning, uh, Joshua. Hello, Joshua. Uh, talk to me. What, what have you got for us? Morning, how are you? Hello, Joshua. Go ahead. Yes, but I think the lady is old. She needs to be rehabilitated instead of us arresting her. I think she's a, she needs a serious mental help. Uh, that's, 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 that's my comment there. All right, so help instead of arresting uh, for what are, many people are saying is the old lady, Joshua. Thank you very much uh, indeed for your time. So let's leave the calls there for now. Those are great. So Vuyo, Morena, Nosi, Cindy, uh, Marie, Omari, uh, and Joshua as well. Uh, all of you giving very, very different views. Vuyo is saying criminal charges. Morena saying system, uh, systematic education uh, instead. Uh, Nosi saying deregister. Uh, Cindy saying there actually are younger teachers. Why haven't we got the youngsters? It's true. How many times have we run these stories? Young unemployed teachers. That's a good point, Cindy. Uh, and uh, Marie from Bloemfontein also saying should be retired uh, as well. And Joshua echoing that sentiment as well. Too old uh, to be in that position. I think we're going to take the last tweet, team. I think let's take this last tweet uh, from uh, Dean Imperium. I think I've got that right. Uh, the way the context was explained, I'm totally confused. If it was terms used during a terrible time in history, then surely there was no malice intended by informing current pupils of the hate terms used in the past, genuinely confused. Well, here's what I do understand about this. So we're calling it the K word because I think that is the most diplomatic, however wrong it is, to explain what that word is. The word was spelt out on the board is my understanding. I do stand to be corrected, but actually spelt out on the board as well. The teacher then said to the pupils, you shouldn't be offended by this because you weren't around during apartheid. So, uh, Dean, I understand where you're coming from, uh, but I think that could be the issue there. Let's leave the tweets there. Let's leave the Facebook comments there for this hour. Let's